15 days left for Bitsad and you're still confused and worrying about what you should do and how you should go about preparation and ace your second attempt of Bitsad. That's what we'll be talking about here today. If you're new here, my name is Hari, I'm Mixed Manager from Bits Pilani. I got 314 Bitsad 2019. Let's just get started in the video. You will know that this time Bitsad first attempt was kind of harder and a lot of people have to take a lot. This is a problem, right? And when you're not anticipating tough papers and when you actually come out of the exam, you feel like, wow, you've messed up so much and you've not really done really well in the paper. In your second attempt, we're going to solve for that. We're going to change everything. How are we going to do that? The best way to go about preparation is by doing at least one or two mocks per day on a day-to-day -day basis for the next 15 days. If you're someone who's already well prepared, then do two mocks per day. One in the morning shift from 9 to 12 and the second one from 2 to 5, right? And then if you do two mocks per day, you'll your brain gets tuned to the examination situation. You'll be prepared for the examination pattern, the 130 questions, the bonus questions, and what are the important topics in the paper and all these other things and you will get a significant edge over someone who has not given the mocks the question comes a lot of the mocks were not relevant and the bitsad was a complete flip from what was actually expected in the mocks that's what we came up with bitsad busted bitsad busted is a mock test series set by bitsad toppers who have done insanely well in the previous years if you're someone who's stuck and you don't know what to solve check out bitsad busted we have a community of students who can actually help you out with your doubts and your questions we have mentors who have done insanely well in the bitsad previous years and we have live lectures to take care of your important topics in Bitsat and that will help you cover your doubts and your weak areas. Only when you solve mock tests, you will understand where you actually stand among other people. You'll understand the level of questions. You'll understand the type of questions and how to go about actually solving them in the real life examination. Immediately after 5 p.m., once you've finished both the mock tests, go and sit down in a quiet place and open one notebook and open your test analysis reports. Try to understand each and every question that you got wrong. Write it down in a piece of paper. Understand where you your weak section is and then once you've written it down for both the mock tests that you've solved for the day pick up that topic and then go and revise it take any topics let's say something in inorganic that you got wrong you don't know something in peak block then go and open up NCRE textbook try to read that specific paragraph where you got wrong try to improve that topic let's say in electrostatics you got a question in dipole wrong then go and check out whatever reference book you have or notes you have from coaching centers or HC Verma or any lecture available to go and resolve that topic for you and practice a few problems in that area that's how you go about solving and improving your score if you simply think that by doing mocks my scores will improve you're kind of wrong because you need to do the test analysis on top of it take the topics and refine it so that you don't miss out on a similar question that's going to come up and one of the most important things that we notice in bits this year is the multi-concept questions which means that questions are not straightforward there are multiple topics coming from multiple places you need to pick it up and understand each topic really well and then know how to go about solving numericals in each of them it's kind of complicated but make sure you prepare for them and do well in them. Once you figured out the analysis parts after you had the mock test, I would suggest try to spend at least one, one and a half hours in your English and logical reasoning preparation as well. Some of the questions which came in the previous round of Bitsad was kind of tough as compared to the previous ones. There were tougher questions in logical reasoning and especially in decoding the patterns. Even the figure-based questions were kind of tough. So people were actually kind of thrown off by it. But the people who actually prepared well for it, people who probably have gone through some previous year NTSE textbooks or people who have solved a lot of questions in mental ability would have gotten a much better score as opposed to other people. And this is a way for you to stand out from the remaining crowd. Only when you learn how to stand out from the crowd, that's how you get a boost over other people. Physics, chemistry, maths is something that everybody has done in the previous years in JE and other exams like mains and advanced and Comet K and all these other exams. Mental ability, logical reasoning, English are something that a lot of people miss out on. So if you have a strong grasp over English and logical reasoning, let's say you went to an IC CSE syllabus school or CPSC syllabus school where you already have a good understanding of English, then try to double down on it and get maximum marks in English and logical reasoning. It's not very difficult. Questions are straightforward and passages fill in the blanks and everything is almost straightforward. You just have to go ahead and solve the questions so that you get a much bigger advantage as compared to other people. Now that your mock test is sorted, error analysis is sorted, test analysis is sorted, English and logical reasoning is sorted, I would advise you guys to double down on your strengths. Don't focus too much on your weaknesses don't focus too much on what has gone wrong if you think that at a specific topic I'm not strong at I don't know conductivity well I don't know electrostatics well I don't know certain topics well then I would just say learn the basic concepts of it learn the formulas application of it don't spend too much time in getting better at it but take the topics that you're already strong at take some important topics that you're strong at and double down on it and make your strengths much stronger and that's how you get an advantage over other people making your strengths much better and not focusing 
too much on your weaknesses because in the last two weeks there's no way you can become an expert at any one topic and if you actually do choose to become an expert at some topic then you will have to let go and sacrifice on a lot of other topics so focus on improving your strengths and focus on making and solving the topics that you're already good at and make sure you focus on time management so that you guys actually get to see the right questions you've actually prepared well for before and go ahead and do it and maximize your score last but not the least keep your health mindset and wellness on track only when your health is on track and when your mindset is right and when your sleep schedule is proper that's when you give your 100% best performance in your final examination if you're not well prepared in terms of health and mental wellness then there's a high chance that you are going to go and screw up and this happens with a lot of people people prepare really hard two months before two years before the exam and one week before the exam there's a lot of stress and anxiety people fall ill and because of that the scores get impacted well on the hindsight people might say that it's a good excuse to give to people as to like okay i was not well during that day but it is not going to do you any good right because it's your responsibility to take care of everything and you need to focus on improving your goals and your mindset before the exam i hope these three things four or five things actually helped you in your preparation first is mock tests preparation and analysis after the mock tests understanding where you're going wrong in the concepts and solving them after the mock tests focusing on english and logical reasoning no matter what because it's one of the easier sections in bitsat focus on improving your strengths and forget about your weaknesses at this point of time nobody cares about it in 15 20 days a lot of your competitive exams will be over and you won't be needing this knowledge of physics and chemistry maths that you acquired that extensively anymore. so prepare for the best and do well i'll see you guys bye bye